But back at the very beginning of that, the whole idea about running my own video game magazine, I remember being inspired probably by an article in Electronic Gaming Monthly about what they called fanzines, which were little miniature publications put together by fans and often sold at video rental stores and, and, and retailers that would sell games. And I was like, whoa, I could do something like that. I mean, I couldn't have been older than eight years old at the time. And uh, I, I tried. I came up with my little rough draft. I, I don't I don't remember what it looked like or, or what the content was or anything, but I, I came up with a sketch and then I wrote a letter to the manager of the the corner video store, the, the party store that, that had video game rentals too. And I remember that letter was basically along the lines of I have this you know, really good idea for a fanzine. I need a place to sell it. Uh, could you please you know, sell my fanzine that didn't quite exist yet, but I had a very crude sketch. And I just remember taking like a crumpled up little letter up to the manager of that store and being so nervous about giving it to him. It was like, it was like uh, giving a note to a girl I liked. And I never heard back about that, but I imagine that was probably a pretty amusing uh, letter for them to receive.